hey, if you're doing all these videos and if you're doing all these photos and you're just not connecting with your tribe and you want to stand out, you're going to want to watch this. I promise you. I'm going for, I'm going for shrimp. What do you think? Hello, hello, hello from the fish market, from the Chelsea fish market. So I wanted to come in because I had this happen about three or four times in the last few days. I think it can help you out too. So if you're an entrepreneur or business coach or somebody who's actually online and social media with your photos, with your videos, with whatever it is, and you are doing great stuff, but you're doing either one of two things. You're either sitting in the same spot all the time in your office going by, or you're doing these really fake stage settings that people know that you don't look like that in real life. Like I didn't do my hair today and it's like, dudes, I'm here. You know, so you gotta kind of find a way to take people with you for the ride. So I was talking to someone who is super smart and super intelligent and really knows his stuff. And um, we were kind of going into like on onboarding and he was trying to figure out why he wasn't getting the traction he wanted to get when he was working so hard. And one of the reasons is just because he's sitting in the same spot all the time. And then also I was speaking to a woman who is very smart. She's a expert in a more business end of social media. And I was just trying to figure out like, why do people turn it off all the time? And it's because she's always sitting in the same spot in her same day's office. It becomes boring. People want to see who you are, what you're about. Just like a reality TV show, they want to know what's happening, where you're going, what you're doing. And you can take them with you to do that. That is how you make the connection. That is how you do everything. Same way that Kardashian started out by being vulnerable. You don't have to be like crying vulnerable like your own emoji but you show people what you're at you're vulnerable you're having that like chicken hair day whatever it is but you know you're stuck you're taking them with you and you're making it that much more interesting okay how does that sound you want to know more about this how to do it to set yourself up a brand in business I invite you to chicken hair nope I invite you to Join me at AuthenticSuperstore.com. It's a free five-day challenge. It's going to set you up to where you need to go so you can create, you can connect, and you could be anything but boring because boring, baby, does not make you money. And I know you're out there for business, not because you want to be only cool, but because you want to be able to have cool clients who love you, respect you, and want more from you. See you at AuthenticSuperstore.com. getting some snacks for dinner, some stuff for dinner in the Italian market. The way they put the store together, making it so nice and appealing, I always want you to buy more. Think about it at the same time that you're putting stuff up on your website, you're making offers, you're doing your social media. How much more interesting can you make it, you know? How much more interesting can you make it that it's so much more inviting that not only does it get the attention of people, it makes them want to buy more. Just a thought. Probably not the best place to be when you're avoiding carbs. We do have really good pasta here.
you do? The slice. Too fresh? I should start a hashtag. Chicken hair, don't care. What do you think? Chicken hair, don't care.